critical component of geo-information services is land surveying and administration. Having accurate ground measurements on location of physical features and boundaries is not just important for countries, but also for individuals, especially in issues of land ownership. With different geodetic reference frames being used in different countries in Africa, accuracy of cross-border measurements and data has been a challenge for surveyors, thereby necessitating the need for a common frame. AFREF uh, is, is a, an, uh, an idea of the African Union to ensure that the whole of African countries have one uniform reference frame to help in coordination of all mapping activities in their countries. RCMRD spearheads the unification of the African Geodetic Reference Frame for Africa, commonly known as AFREF, which is aimed at having one uniform datum for all mapping work across Africa. It is designed to be fully consistent and homogeneous with the International Terrestrial Reference Frame, ITRF. Within uh, Africa, Countries have been using different reference frames uh, for their mapping and surveying operations. And uh, what you find is that when different reference frames are used, uh, the maps that are produced or the data that is produced is usually not compatible across the different countries. Uh, one of the initiatives that has been uh, overseen by RCMRD is to have a common reference frame for the whole of Africa and equal it to the Africa reference frame. The AFREF is expected to provide a platform for cross-border projects as well as sufficient use of global navigation satellite system technology in the continent. As part of its mandate to offering geospatial services to its member states and stakeholders, RCMRD endeavoured to improve the use of modern technologies such as Global Navigation Satellite Systems, GNSS, as well as increased establishment of Continuous Operation Reference Systems, CORS. The centre is currently hosting one continuous operation reference system that remits both static and RTK solutions to practicing surveyors in the field and has supported several member countries such as Ethiopia and Rwanda to install similar systems. While many of the African countries are still not fully covered with adequate CORs, there has been a great deal of improvement in the recent years. With good coverage, surveyors are able to use digital technology, which is more efficient and accurate to do their ground mapping instead of the earlier, more tedious, time-consuming and more expensive methods. Uh, this is where now the, the course has replaced the conventional surveying. Because right now, uh, what uh, the surveyors need to do is just to buy this receiver. Just one receiver. Once you buy this one receiver, it is able to track satellites, as you can see there. Then it is able to receive corrections from the host stations through the internet. So you just need and it has, this, it has a, a, a place where you can put the SIM card so that the corrections are sent to the internet. And you also need to, you don't need a, a controller. You can use your phone. And because it is Android based, you can uh, download the, the, the application and then use your phone to control the receiver and connect with the internet, even the bundle from your phone, and carry out your survey. And with this cost station, you don't need to waste time setting up the tripod, the conventional tripod, leveling it. It takes around 10 minutes to level it. While the cost station is already leveled, it's already in the right position. And this one, you just need to hold it. And instead of having two surveyors in the field, you only require one. Conventionally, you will always employ another person waiting for the base so that the, somebody does not steal it or somebody does not uh, interfere with it or an animal. In addition to this, fit-for-purpose approaches such as participatory adjudication with the use of satellite imagery, use of tablets and mobile applications have also been explored for systematic adjudications, especially in areas that have not been previously surveyed. RCMRD has carried out land survey projects such as control survey, topographical and systematic adjudication to member states using modern surveying technologies. 
The center conducts capacity building on these surveying technologies through trainings to various stakeholders and member states professionals in GNSS data capture and processing, AutoCAD utility, total station and leveling. The trainings are held at RCMRD or at the premises of the member states or stakeholders as necessary. One critical application of the surveying data is in land administration and management. In this area, RCMRD has developed a prototype land information management system which is customizable for member states. The land information management system is designed to enable support for countries in operationalizing land tenure procedures such as transfer of ownership, land valuation, regulation of land and property development, the use and conservation of land, land revenues through sale, leasing and taxation and resolution of conflict concerning ownership and use of land. RCMRD is ready to engage with countries that are interested in implementing country-level land information systems as well as automation of land administration services.